Hello everyone. Today's topic is martensite. In this video we will explain about martensite. Let's start the video. What is martensite? Martensitic materials result from a specific type of phase transformation that produces the structure known as martensite. Martensite transformation in steels mostly occurs during rapid cooling from above austenitic temperature, which is also referred to as quenching, during which the cooling rate is sufficient to avoid any diffusional solid state transformations. Examples: Ferrite and pearlite. In this figure you can see the range of martensitic transformation in steel by purple color arrow. It received its name from Professor Adolf Martens, German metallurgist, who suggested that the martensitic reaction is displacive in nature and forms through a highly ordered crystallographic shear transformation, which involves no change in chemical composition or atomic diffusion, i.e. no atomic redistribution between phases. Martensite is defined as a supersaturated interstitial solid solution of carbon in alpha ion. Carbon atoms are present in octahedral sites. Martensite has body-centered cubic tetragonal structure. The tetragonality of martensite is essentially due to presence of carbon atoms. Effect of carbon content on tetragonality of martensite shown in this figure. Martensite transformations were first observed and described in steels although they occur also in many other materials such as e.g. in titanium alloys. Crystal structure of martensite is body centered tetragonal. Main distortion transformation shown in this figure. The microstructure of martensite in steels has different morphologies and may appear as either lath martensite or plate martensite. For steel 0-0.6% carbon the martensite has the appearance of lath and is called lath martensite. For steel greater than 1% carbon it will form a plate-like structure called plate martensite. Plate martensite, as the name indicates, forms as lenticular lens-shaped crystals with a zigzag pattern of smaller plates. Lath martensite shown in left figure and plate martensite shown in right figure. During martensitic phase transformation in steels, the austenite with a phase centered cubic FCC lattice is transformed to martensite with a body centered tetragonal BCT lattice by a diffusion less shear process. Due to the large difference in alloy insolubility between FCC lattice and BCT lattice, the distorted BCT lattice will be highly supersaturated with carbon. The main disadvantage of martensite is that it's very brittle. Martensite is desirable because it's also very hard. To reach a compromise between the hardness and brittleness of steel, tempering is required. To achieve the desired hardness, strength, ductility or toughness, martensitic steels are often subjected to tempering after quenching. 1. Martensite is the hardest and most brittle microstructure obtainable in a given steel. 2. Martensite hardness of the steel is a function of the carbon content in that steel. 3. Martensite results from cooling from austenitic temperatures rapidly by pulling the heat out using a liquid quenchant before pure light can form. 4. As quenched martensitic structures are too brittle for economic use they must be tempered. 5. Preheating is quenched martensite to a temperature just below the AC1 results in the best combinations of strength and toughness.